Hello and welcome to another Acrylico tutorial. Before we move on, I'd like to thank our patrons and Derivative for their support. Please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to support us into making more tutorials. For more, you can also check our Patreon with different tiers to offer all touch designer files, online tools to create generated art, as well as personalized classes. I'll leave the link in the description box. Also, for anyone who lives in or around Berlin, or anyone who's planning to visit, we're participating on Future Space Detection, which is an open-air exhibition starting this week on the 11th of August and going on every Thursday and Friday for the next three weeks. There are going to be a lot of different artists, interactive multimedia installations, live performances, great music and fun company. So if you have a chance and would like to come by and have a chat, I'll leave all the information below as well as the website with the dates and the featured artists. So hope to see you there! Now back to the tutorial on creative coding in Touch Designer. Make sure to watch until the end, there's going to be many tips and tricks, which you can also use for your future projects. Today we're gonna do some creative coding with Python. We're gonna do this with SOPs, so in order to do this we're gonna create here a script SOP and I'm gonna split the screen, I'm gonna put this exports and dots and I'm gonna drag and drop script callbacks and then we're gonna see this so this part is for the parameters we have here like set of parameters and in the custom we have here these parameters and here is if we have some parameter that is a pulse and we clicked it this function is gonna get called and this function is gonna get when parameters are changed or when this is generally cooked so we're gonna work on this function first. So let's first create a, a function that allows us to uh, draw a line. In order to do this, we're gonna say def line. Then this is gonna need the sop. It's gonna need x1, y1, x2, and y2. Great. So now we need to, uh, to append a polygon. So I'm gonna call it poly, and this is gonna be uh, sub dot append poly and this has a parameter the numbers of, of points so we're gonna put two points but you can put more and it also needs the parameters add points and it's gonna set to true because we want to add the points and closed and we're gonna set it to false because it, a line is not closed Okay, so now this poly is a polygon object and this has two points. So actually you can treat this as an array of points. So we're gonna set the X position to the first point to X1 and the Y position of the first point to Y and the same for the second one. So we're gonna say poly and then we're gonna use a square brackets. In this version of the designer, which is the 2022, they have a bug that uh, you cannot do square brackets in the editor. So I actually just go here and then create my square brackets. Or maybe this is only a problem on Mac, but I, I wasn't able to do these square brackets on the editor. So if you have the same problem, just for you to know. So I just cut this and paste it here. So, and then I do poly zero dot point. Okay, so we're, we're in the, the first polygon. We're gonna access the point. And then we're gonna say dot x, and this is gonna be to x1, okay? And now we can actually just copy the line and then replace the x with a y, and then uh, this x1 with y1, which are the parameters. And now we can do the same for the second point. So we just need to put there 0, 1 here one and at the end instead of a one we put two and then here two great so let's test it i want to just write a line from zero to one so i'm gonna say here line and the the sop is actually this script op that we get as parameter and then we're gonna say zero zero two one one and then if we just click somewhere else, we should see a line. Great. So we now created uh, some kind of basic API to draw a line. 
If you want to learn some touch designer, I'm gonna be doing a course in Music Hackspace in combination with Function Store. So if you want to learn, you can just go here under the link. We're gonna put the link below. And you can also buy the course or just get a subscription to get also access to other courses. Great, so in order to create a maze, which is our goal, we want first to create some kind of grid with diagonal lines. Okay, so I'm gonna create first a variable grid size. I'm gonna go with 25 and line length. And I'm gonna go with 0 0.5. Okay, then we want to create first the, the grid of lines. So in order to do this, we need a nested for loop for the X and the Y. So for X in range, and we're gonna go, because we want the grid and the zero, zero. So we want to go from minus the grid size until the grid size. So minus grid size and comma grid size. And then we're gonna do just the same. Actually, we can just copy this line. And then we can just copy paste it and then change the X with a Y. Great. And now, if we just first draw a line and instead of putting zero, zero, we're gonna put X and Y and then X and Y. So what is gonna happen here is gonna create just a grid of points because the line is creating the first point, the second point are the same. So that's what we need to subtract. So here is gonna be the line length and the y we're gonna say minus line length and the same here with a plus line length and y plus line length great so now if we click here we can see that if we go a little closer that now we have a grid of lines so actually this is a couple of small lines going so the algorithm of this maze is actually very very easy and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just randomly whether put the line diagonally in that direction or the line in the other direction so in order to do something randomly we need to import random which is like a package on python that allows us to create random stuff and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna first make an if statement if random dot random is bigger than 0 0.5 because random dot random give us a random number between 0 and 1 so this is like the 50 percent chance so if that is true then we're gonna do this line else that means that if that's not true then we're gonna do the line but in the other direction so i'm just gonna copy this expression and here instead of here doing y minus line length i'm gonna go with y plus line length and the same here instead of doing plus here i'm gonna do minus so i'm just flipping it and this will cause the maze so actually that's um that's the basic part of the maze and now every time that we just change the parameter whatever so this is gonna cause a random variation. And the reason is because when this parameter is changed, the uncook function gets called, and now this if random random, it changes every time. So that's why we're able to just move this and get different variations out of this. Okay, so this is already implemented, so let me uh, close the screen. And now let us attach a geometry out of this. And let me also create here a line material so we can control the thickness of the line so i'm gonna drag and drop and say line material now i want a camera so we are right now very 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 close so i'm just gonna go very very far something like this and now i'm gonna do a render top which is gonna be a square resolution so 1280 by 1280 i'm gonna attach an rgb key to create a black background and here i'm gonna touch a null and i'm gonna turn the display flag i'm gonna go to the display tab and then background tops 
Now I'm going to split the screen and put this as a top viewer. Great. So with the camera, we can actually go a little closer. Something like this is fine. Great. Now we have the, the maze and the line. Now what we want is, so I'm going to put uh, this and near and this and far to zero and with near also to zero. And now what we can do is like with the width far, I now can control the width of the line. So let's say I think I want something like like this, that there are like enough fat that they have like this kind of shape. And in the line, I can also go in the line far color. And here I can go a little brighter, something like this. And yes. This is actually it. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you get motivated to learn a little more Python. And if you're a beginner of Python, we're gonna release a couple of tutorials on Music Hackspace on August. So stay tuned for these Python tutorials. And I wish you a good day.